Hey guys, and welcome back to Link's Awakening Glitchless Speedrun Tutorial. Today, we're going to be heading into Dungeon 5, but there's one little thing we need to do. We're going to head over to the South Face Shrine to get the Face Shrine key. Face Shrine is Dungeon 6, but because of where everything is and just how it kind of all works out, it's actually quick to go get the key for Dungeon 6 so that when Dungeon 5 is done, we head straight over to Dungeon 6. So there's not going to be any, like, entering Face Shrine tunnel. Right, tunnel, there's no tunnel. Entering Face Shrine, it's literally going to be... Do Dungeon 5, uh, Catfish Maw, I think it's called. Doing the Catfish Maw, and then going straight over to, to Face Shrine. Which is good, because, you know what, we deserve two in a row since last time we may not have actually finished a dungeon. Which is fine, it's also gonna happen again, I'm sorry. Dungeon 7, we, it, Dungeon 7 takes two tries. Also because we skip a little bit of a cutscene. Anyway, we've got Mambo's Mambo, which means now we can teleport anywhere that we actually have a teleport created. There is one extra one right here. This brings you to Tracy, I think her name is. And she has that medicine that brings you back to life. Basically acts like a fairy. We don't have bottles anyway. So yeah, this is a bottleless route. Nice. Careful for that bush. I guess you can bonk on it. Wasn't even, wasn't really paying attention. I'm not gonna lie. So, this guy up here can be a little bit annoying. Sometimes a jump slash will get him away. He can end up on this path that we're on right now. And that usually ends up meaning that, uh... Sometimes you can hit him, sometimes he'll just drop a bomb right in front of you and you'll just run into it. It's great. He's a great guy. So this is part of why we need four arrows. If you hold, or if you stay a little bit high, you can hit that guy with a rock. Now we're going to be running into armo statues. Now the only thing that we have that will kill them would be bombs and arrows. Bombs are pretty impractical, so we're going to use arrows. Make sure to wait that little half second, otherwise your arrows are going to go right through them because they're not hittable as soon as they turn. Wait for them to like basically start moving because especially if you only have two arrows at this point, as I do, you are going to be wasting arrows. There we go. We also get two free arrows. If you need, if you need, you can uh, get two arrows there, go out, go back in type thing, and then they will still be there. But say that we had the two arrows, you can pick up more. Normally I have four at this point, so I'm gonna show you what we do when we get four. You wanna hit his shield with a spin attack. We're gonna hit two spin attacks. Oh, my time's a little bit off now. Go into the corner. Spin attack, arrow, arrow, and he's dead. Uh, he does have a little bit of like a weird IA frame or in invincibility frame thing that can happen. Uh, I got no words for it. It, it, just, it just might happen if your timing is off slightly. But at this point now, we can uh, sing our song, head over to, this is Martha's lake or Martha's swamp or Martha's swamp, I don't know, something like that. So that we can get into dungeon 5. This is a pretty quick split again as well. Actually, I think this is a really quick split. That's, that's pretty much all we really do is we head over to there, grab that key, swim on over, and we head on up. So uh, buckle your seats in because we're going to hit probably the speedrun's least favorite boss next time inside the catfish maw. So, have fun, happy grinding, the live split is coming right up after this, as always, and take care, guys. Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.